So I'm losing my patience. This is probably the 10 take I take today of the ending Magic LR just because I have an opinion on it. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo De Vue. This is the Ending Magic LR. Do not confuse it with the normal Ending Magic L, which is a lightweight caster with a silver body and red spool. If we open the box, you see that this one is not the one that you're thinking. This is an all black reel. It's a BFS reel. And I want to give you a quick run round through the specs before I give my opinion on it and why I got it. It's 147 grams total weight, so 5.2 ounces. It has 9 plus 1 ball bearings. The ones on the shaft are NMB ball bearings. Pretty good quality because I free spool this one and it, it, they feel nice. It has 4 kilos of drag, so 8.8 .8 pounds. It features a carbon frame, probably the harder wheel that I have. It's very difficult to bend it. It's even harder um, than the Castex and the Silver Feather. Uh, the spool, it's 28 millimeters of diameter on the interior and 36 on the top of the lip, so you have 4 millimeters to put line in. The gear ratio, it's uh, 6, 4 to 1. Uh, the braking mechanism features 15 magnets and the spool weight it's 12.7 grams and you're thinking to yourself the reel is slow because it has a gear ratio of, of 6 4 to 1 and it has a very very heavy spool okay but it's very very solid the reel the braking mechanism it's different because the static magnets are not parallel to the spool they work in internally on the spool inside of i don't know if the camera will focus inside of this lip so when you adjust the brakes the ring of the 15 brakes will go out in and out accordingly how you change the the brakes also different on this reel i know some folks that don't like clicking good news the only thing that clicks on this reel it's the drag adjustment and really it's the only thing that you need to click because when you're uh, reeling a fish in or reeling the reel you can accidentally touch the drag star and if you hear it you know you are messing with your drag settings but this is one of the reasons I got this reel you see it's very 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 smooth out of the box and if the camera will focus I will get out of the way Look at how it free spools out of the box. Very, very good. And you're still saying, yes, Ricardo, but the reel is pretty slow compared with the eights and sevens that we get right now on BFS setups. Yes, but if you are like me and usually use your BFS setups when you're not doing things crazy like throwing 0.7 gram jigs on the glass rod like I did last week you're mostly throwing crankbaits I'm in the winter I basically exclusively throw crankbaits and jig heads jig heads I prefer my spinning setups but when I'm doing cranking I like a BFS setup and this probably will be perfect for it Ooh, something is after it yes that's the reason why I get it. Also, I want to support companies that have different approach, even if they are not as good, because then you will get innovation. I'm 
I did not test the, the, this reel yet, but when I test it, I will have an opinion on it and the opinion may be good or bad. Even if it's bad, they try to make something different. And that's something that I give them credit, a lot of credit for not pulling a, a Dark Wolf Ultra Clone. And the reel feels very, very solid and everything I have to handing until now has been great. So I'm very, very eager to test this reel and I will see you guys on the water, hopefully with big catches. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.